hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're just joining us my name is Mayowa and today I'm going to be talking about how to um, draft a spiral flounce um, but before I continue I'm just going to um, say a few things I'm just going to say thank you so much for um, always watching my videos subscribing to my channel and um, if you have not subscribed you know what to do <laughs> um so um thank you so much um without you uh it doesn't even make sense if i'm making videos if nobody's watching them so i know i also like to say that um if you have any questions concerning the videos i've made in the past or the one i'm making today you can always type it in the comment section so yeah, I would love to um, hear about it and then I'll reply as soon as I can. Um, um, if you have um, any uh, videos or tutorials you want me to um, teach next, uh, you can also type it in the comment section. And um, if you want to uh, talk about something you feel that I need to improve on, please also type it in the comment section. If you have any tips you would like to give me or whatever you can also type that in the comment section i would also like to learn from you and i would also love to know you <laughs> i'm open to making new friends here yeah? so with that said um let's get to today's um tutorial <laughs> Um, so for today's video on how to um, draft a um, flounce, a uh, spiral flounce, um, is just a, a spiral flounce is just basically um, another way to um, um, add a design element to your um, dress. It adds, it can, it, it helps add a bit of drama or style or whatever you want, sure. So it adds that to your um, to your outfit and um, is quite different from ruffle on how to make ruffles because with ruffles you would have to um gather the fabric and um, the stitches are showing at the top but with um a flounce the whole thing is cut together like the um i don't know how to explain this um you don't need to gather it the flare is already cut on the pattern it's almost like how a circle skirt should look like. Um, should I teach a uh, tutorial on how to draft a circle skirt? Hmm, what do you think? So for the flounce, um, the uh, bounce on the um, dress or the flounce is more or less cut on the pattern so it's not like you are gathering it the way we do for ruffles so let's get right on to um making this um so to start with um i'm just i'm going to draw a line in the middle of my paper here so i'm just going to draw a line now the next thing to do is to determine my flounce height so the flounce height will, will be um how long you want the flounce to be not exactly how long like this how long like the width of the flounce so for me uh you include your allowance and um, that, that is your m allowance and the allowance for joining it to whatever dress or blouse you are making so you add that to your flounce height so for me i want my flounce height to be like exactly four inches so I'm just going to measure four inches on this line so your line can be longer than this if you want it depends on how long you want your uh, flounce to be now the next thing is for you to locate the middle of this line and this is the middle right here so you locate the middle of this line and this is the middle right here so i'm just going to name the middle of this line b then i'll measure from this b line to this next line here and divide it by two so this is four 
divided by two that is two so and then i'll label it a now the next thing is for me to um, start drawing in to start drafting in my flounce now to draft my flounce i'll come right here to a and measure what i have between a and b so whatever i get i'll measure it round if you have a uh, compass you can use that to make it easier and faster for you but because i'm using um, i'm illustrating this with a marker and i cannot exactly use a marker on the compass so i'm just going to measure mine like this so i have two inches here and then i'll come right to this a point and measure two inches round to form a semicircle so that is half of a circle please excuse um, the fact that this line looks wonky but you should use a compass when you're trying to draft your because i'm draft drafting this with my hand that's why it looks um wonky now the next thing is to come to b right here before that but before that let's label our lines so i'm just going to label this mark here one i'll come here and label this two i'll label this three then i'll label this four i'll label this five and then i'll label this six so now i'll come right to b here and measure what i have between b and one here i have four inches so i'm going to measure place my tape on this b line here and measure my four inches i'll make sure the semicircle comes down so you know for the first semicircle here the second semicircle has to continue from where this one stops all the way round so i'm just going to measure four inches this is four so i'll connect from this point here round then the next thing is to come back to a here then i'll measure what i have between a here and um four here so i have six inches so i'm going to measure that six inches round again but this time i'm not going to measure it down i'll measure it up so i'll come right to a here measure six inches now then you keep going on and on so but now i'll go back to b and measure what i have between b and um three here and then i'll measure this round again but this time i'm measuring um, i'm measuring the semicircle down here because it has to continue from here down again then and on and on and on till i complete it to like five or six to the or depending on how long you want your um, flounce to be now i'm going to measure b and um, this is eight inches so i measure eight inches round now we are right back to a so i'm going to measure what i have between a year and six year and that's 10 inches so i'm going to measure my 10 inches up you get the drift now to the last and final one i'm going to measure what i have between b and five here and then i'll measure that again round so because i don't have enough space here to measure my 12 inches i'm just going to leave it this way but for you if you need extra you can just add a bit, a bit of paper here to accommodate the 12 inches line so and that's um and that's basically all there is on how to um make a spiral flower so the next thing is just for you to cut this round you cut it round like this and you cut it out of your fabric so i'm just going to do that now so you see what it's going to look like 